Greetings my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Alicia and today I am doing a very quick Target grocery haul. It's been a while since I've done an actual pickup order. So let me show you very quickly the things that I picked up for this week and a couple of the dinner ideas that I'm gonna be making. I'm just gonna start right here since these are already unbagged. I already depleted all my Costco eggs so I needed to get some more. I got the 18 count of eggs to go outside in my outdoor fridge. I got three gallons of milk because we are going so fast through all our milk just from the hot chocolates the lattes I've been making so many hot drinks just because it's gotten a little chilly here in California where I am so we love all of our hot drinks and this is something I never usually pick up it is some butter croissants and it's gonna be actually for my kids lunches this week I'm gonna be making them like an egg salad sandwich and if you are interested I do have a kids lunchbox video that is on my channel. I'm going to be making a part two that will be coming up pretty soon, probably in the next few weeks. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you are interested in lunchbox ideas. So if you are new to my channel and my videos, when it comes to these types of grocery hauls, I will just kind of unload as I go and show you the products that I picked up. So let's get into the very first bag. I have some chicken broth, and of course guys, as usual, I will put all the prices up of what I paid. Um, and this chicken broth is actually going to be going into a coconut curry ramen, which looks absolutely divine, and it looks like just super warming, and something that is definitely necessary for winter. So I'm gonna give that recipe of try. I've never tried it before, but it looks delicious. Some salsa verde. This is the just a mild one. I've made this before on a what's for dinner video, and it was such a hit with my family. I have to make it again. It is a salsa verde chicken enchilada skillet, but this time because Thanksgiving just passed and I have so much turkey in the fridge, I'm gonna substitute the chicken for shredded turkey just so I don't waste it. So I'm gonna use turkey and I think it'll taste just pretty much the same. So excited to make that. I think I'm gonna make it tonight actually. You know, I always like to have some sweets for my children for their lunches and for of course me and my husband, we love the double stuffed Oreos. I prefer picking up like their deli ham or their deli turkey, but it wasn't available on the app, so I just got the next best thing, which is the Oscar Mayer uncured ham, just for our lunches, for ham roll-ups and sandwiches. This is my husband's, this is a Greek yogurt. He loves these Greek yogurt cups. This is what he takes with him to work, and sometimes he'll take granola on the side. Some blueberries for my kids. I think I got two. Yep, I got two of them. So these are blueberries for like blueberry pancakes, for their oatmeals, for just their fruit on the side of their lunches. Ugh, I hate to pain the prices, but sometimes convenience, it is what it is. I picked up this bag of cilantro for a pretty ridiculous price that you'll see right here. But I need it for two dishes and I did not want to go into the store. So, there you go. Okay, bananas, I got eight of them. The people that work at Target, they always pick the best produce. Like they, they really do do a good job at picking things. So I got some bananas. Uh, a large bag of Honeycrisp apples. My kids love apples, especially my, oh I love that they're small too. I didn't think they were gonna be this small, but honestly that's fine, that's perfect. Um, I could actually stick this in their lunches this week because of how small they are, that's perfect. Okay, this is 100% not a grocery item, but it is some Epsom salts. This is the only thing that is not grocery related, but this is what I need for my baths. I love the smell of eucalyptus. I actually put eucalyptus essential oil in my shower, like on the bottom, whenever I take like a hot shower. But when I take a bath, I love this stuff. This is uh, something I normally don't buy, but these were my favorite growing up. Did you guys love Hostess anything? Like the Hostess Twinkies, the Ding Dongs, the Ho-Hos. Did you guys like any of that stuff? <laughs> Leave me a comment if you did. This was honestly my favorite. And what was really cool is we used to have a Hostess store in our town. It closed down several years ago, but they would sell all their bread like super cheap. Like a loaf of bread would be like 40 cents or something and then like a package of donuts were 25 cents. It was ridiculous. So I miss it, but at least I can still get my hostess fix at Target. I picked up a 28 ounce crushed can of tomatoes and this is going into like a penne a la vodka dish. It's just going to be one of our vegetarian meals for the week since we really overdid it with the meats for Thanksgiving. I picked up two packages of ramen. That is for that ramen dish. Some corn tortillas. Last time I used white corn tortillas for the skillet, but I thought I'd switch it up and try the yellow corn this time for the turkey enchilada skillet dish that I'm making tonight. 
I picked up a large five pound bag of russet potatoes just to have basically on hand so I can make a quick meal like some breakfast potatoes or mashed potatoes or like a, a crispy potato stack which is a great recipe from Half Baked Harvest. Basically potatoes are just good to have on hand in general. I ordered a mango and this is actually for a barbecue chipotle shrimp taco with an avocado mango salsa side and I've made this several times before. It is a winner here. Everyone loves it. I also needed a couple of limes I believe for the ramen and for that shrimp dish. A small bag of avocados. They're really tiny baby avocados which is totally fine. The price is really good. This is for like avocado toast in the mornings or I give this as a side to my kids for with their lunches. I got some tostitos tortilla chips and this is basically for my husband. He loves having just regular tortilla chips on hand and Siete, our favorite brand, is not at Costco. I haven't seen it the last few months and that's what I usually pick up, but this will absolutely be fine for him. I ordered a small bag of the nacho cheese Doritos for my boys for their lunches. Okay, I think I said the penny ala vodka. I meant rigatoni ala vodka. That is what this is. Uh, this is the pasta for that dish. If you guys have seen my hauls before, you know how much I love this next product. I got two of them, coconut milk. They have the best, thickest milk, and it is the organic one. This is going into the ramen, one of the cans, and one is just to have on hand if I wanna make an impromptu curry or any other dish that I would like to make. This is great to have in your pantry. All right, I'm gonna slide this stuff down to make room for the next few bags that I have. I'm almost done. Okay, I got some baby spinach. This is going into a orzo carbonara with crispy prosciutto and burrata. And this is just gonna be incorporated into the dish to give it some green, healthy flavors. And also for my smoothies and for like a scrambled egg burrito in the mornings, I just like having spinach on hand. And on top of that orzo, I'm going to make like a little lemon arugula type dressing just to top it off with some more greens because we definitely need more greens after this whole Thanksgiving week. And I always pick up some type of vegetables just to pair with our sides. So I have some green beans, some broccoli, and this really cute bag of Brussels sprouts. I thought it was gonna be bigger. <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm just gonna kinda use these vegetables for whatever sounds good with whatever meal I'm making. So maybe for the orzo, I might do like the broccoli, or no, maybe the penne pasta, or the rigatoni pasta with broccoli. So whatever sounds good, I'm just gonna pair a vegetable with those dishes. And of course, with the orzo carbonara, you need some meat, so some prosciutto, some really fairly large baby carrots. I really like the baby carrots from Winco because they're more petite. I will usually just cut these in half for my kids' lunches. Okay, this one is a little disappointing, I'm gonna be honest. Um, some grapes but they're like, I don't know what's wrong with them. What is wrong with them? First of all, they're massive, which I mean, that's not, I guess a huge problem. Okay, a little old, and the only reason you can kind of tell, let me see if you can see. The stem is a little brown, and usually, you could, there's like a little bit of green on there, um, but they, they just don't look great, and there's really not that much in here, and I think I paid a pretty hefty amount for this, um, so this is probably, I don't know, I'm not that happy about it, but again, like I can't really be choosy. If that's all they had, then obviously that's what they're gonna give me. Um, if it was out of stock, they would have just refunded me my money. But I guess I can't be super annoyed about this because I asked them to do this for me. So I can't be too upset about it, but it is what it is. I always get a cucumber. I always get the English cucumber and actually Target carries like the little miniature cucumbers, which I've gotten before and the boys love them too. But I got the English cucumber for my kids' lunches. This is something I rarely ever get. This is just ground pork and that is going into that ramen dish. And I got some coleslaw for the slaw dressing that is going on top of those chipotle barbecue shrimp tacos. You guys are gonna be so ridiculously proud of me. This is the only cheese I bought. And it is some Monterey Jack cheese that is for that enchilada skillet dish I'm making. Guys, that is phenomenal, seriously. In this big haul, I only have one thing of cheese. That's incredible. Okay, and the very last thing I have, oh wow, is a really big tub. I thought I, thought I ordered the small one, is a really big tub 
of the cream cheese for bagels because I still have some bagels in my freezer from my last Costco haul, so I don't wanna waste those. So I got this for breakfast this week. All right guys, and that is it for today's Target haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more grocery hauls. I have some fun ones coming up in December, so I hope you subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.